Glad to see you made it. We are gathered here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God, he is alive. My friends, let's start with the prayer. I have a great message for you today, and I want to encourage you as Easter weekend is coming up. And I want to leave you with good, a good word and good encouragement. And let's start the prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you today for, for guidance and wisdom and an understanding of that wisdom. Gracious God, we ask you to, to protect over us and guide over our families and our homes. Protect our heart. Protect our hearts, O oh God. I ask that you would bless this message, that this video, and whoever watches it. Bless their homes. I come, gracious God, in your holy name, to, to spread your love and your word, the gospel. Please guard over me, my body, and so that only you may be known, felt, heard, guide us. Be our Father. We come in, in the holiest of all names, Jesus Christ, and Yeshua, our Lord, and our Messiah, our Holy Savior. Amen. My friends, I want to talk to you today about I had a message, and God gave me a message to deliver, and I want to go through that message, and it'll probably take a bunch of videos, but uh, we'll start here, and we'll go through, and you'll see how the love of God is being poured out, and His Spirit is being poured out into many people all across the world, and even in America, as we're screaming out the same message. And, you know, is it a coincidence? <laughs> I don't know. But, let's go through this message, and, and, and I want to encourage you today. And I want you to know that even me, none of us are, are immune or, or <clears throat> protected from the attacks and the fiery darts of the devil. You know. I have most of, uh, of my ministry or whatever, my service to God is done through these videos and I shared them through Facebook and was able to knock on many doors and spread the word through many people as like a disciple would, as you would go through the house by house. But you know, if I wasn't rocking around my neighborhood, trust me, nobody's going to answer the door for, for me. And... But in an instant, I'm permanently, forever banned from Facebook. And that's, that's, that, that's the power of the devil. We live in the devil's world, and he, he really wants us to live by his rules. And spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, he hates that. He hates that. And he hates when we share and we love. He hates that. So, in an instant, I, I lose 90% of, of people, but oh well, because God has a plan, and, and I'm going to trust in God. And when one door closes, another door will open. And one of the main reasons I make the videos is because I hope that someday someone w would see them and, and see that I have. I have something to say, and maybe a radio station, maybe somewhere, and it's for only one thing. I want to, to blare out my trumpet, and my foghorn, and my voice, so that all could hear the truth and the love God has for us all. I'm worried sometimes that the message gets lost. And through this message that the angel of the Lord, and many people have many messages, many letters and things. And some are, are not from Jesus. Some are from the Nephilim and evil spirits and demons. And we got to be careful. So let's go through this message. 
and, and hang with me because you will see that that this is from God and it's for us and it's going to help us stay with God as here in the world today as there's many different ideas and opinions on who Jesus is and what Jesus is about and all these different stuff and that divides us up we got to stick to the truth and that's what this message from our Lord is for us all and let's kind of go through this and we'll go step by step and try and make it understandable even to a 10 year old kid children belong to God and listen as soon as Jesus was baptized he went up out of the water at that moment heaven was open and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning on him these are the twelve he appointed Peter, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Theodos, Simon, and Judas, who betrayed him. John answered them all, I baptize you with water, but one more powerful than I will come. The thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And that's kind of the Antichrist doesn't want you to know. Jesus Christ baptizes with the Holy Spirit and with fire. John the Baptist, as he was doing preaching, that, that through his baptism we would come a repentance of sins. It's repent. Turn from those ways. Jesus Christ comes and tells the world, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Repent and turn from the ways of this world. And it's tough. Because our, our human flesh and nature wants to find value for our lives here on earth. And God sees us so much more valuable than that. You know, it's like even for me and the stuff and getting everything taken away in an instant. You know, we, we've got to trust God in, in everything. Not cry out to God. Cry out all day to God. And I thank Him always. What a great blessing that he has given me to give me the time to, to study with the word and live with him and be with him in prayer and I pray all the time and I pray on my knees and I pray everywhere and all the time I'm with God what a blessing to me I don't have nothing I don't even have enough money to give my own son lunch money at school but, but I see the, the, the great worth and what God's plan is for us in the salvation. And I cry out all the time, God, I, I, I want to do more. And he says, I know. But I can't do nothing. I, the harder I try, the harder I work, the, the, the tougher it gets. And, and nobody wants to hear it. And they just keep blocking me and throwing it down. And he says, I know. I say, but God, I, I'm weak. And I need your help. And I need your strength. I'm failing and I'm falling. And help me, God. And he says, I know. And I will. I'm your God. And that's the point. We, we're weak. We're but men. We can't change the world. And we can't change anybody's ideas or their hearts or their minds. But we got to trust God and, and have faith in God. And Jesus Christ can go where no man can go. 
He can go into your heart, into your mind, and maybe change that mind in your heart to see to the love God has for all. Jesus Christ, the greatest words I, I ever heard. Who's whom Jesus whispered into my ear. Said, here I am. I'm right here. Here I am. With you. We don't need to look out to try to find Jesus. And even if he comes down in the clouds, we don't have to worry because He's right here with us each and every day. He told me, go tell your brothers and your sisters how much I love them. And I hear their prayers. They just won't ask me in. They won't, uh, won't receive me. Because God is love. And we must follow our hearts to that love. Well, why, why the 12 disciples? Why, why is their testimony so important? Well, what's so special about that? And that's because of their, their testimony, of their eyewitness report of Jesus Christ. Of how they walked with God as Jesus walks on the water. Peter stands out and tries to walk on the water himself. Amazing things happen. He goes to little girls and little boys and has them rise back to life. Lazarus dead for four days. Stinking up the place. And God raised him from the dead as well. Goes to the demon man. Filled with demons and possessed. And he didn't come asking for salvation. He didn't come asking God for help. But God, through his love, says, Son, what's your name? Who are you? We are legion, for we are many. And he released that man from the bondage of those devils and demons. Throw them into to the herd of pigs. Jesus says, you know, don't, don't, don't throw your pearls to the pigs. Or else they'll trample all over you. And we see that today. Sometimes there's some people that just ain't going to hear it. They don't want no part of it. And they'll do everything they can to stop you from speaking and those pigs are reserved for Jesus Christ and his coming. He's got those already in mind. He, even the demons said, Oh, what did you come to, 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 to throw us into hell before our time? Have mercy on us and throw us in the pigs. And we got to be careful. Some people will beat you down. Those demons and those spirits are all across the world. They never die. Still there. The spirit of Jezebel still is around. You know, they're still there. And we got to be aware. Because that's our fight. It's against flesh, not against flesh and blood, but the demons. And, and those people. We can't let them break us down in our hearts. Stay close to God. And through the disciples, as they're watching all this great stuff, he feeds 5,000 that, that were counted, but it's more in, in the 15 to 20,000 people. Jesus feeds them all, and they were full, out in the middle of nowhere with a few loaves and a couple fish. Yeah, there, there the disciples are. And at the Last Supper, and you, you guys are going to be scattered. And you won't be there with me. But I want you to know so you don't lose faith that, that, that God will be with me. And that's good enough. But this is all for, for the goodness 
uh, of humanity and people. But don't worry. And each and every disciple came up and said, No way, Lord. We, we will never deny you. We will be right there with you. Peter even gets bolder and comes up and says, God, Jesus, even if I have to die with you, I will die for you. And I will never deny you. And I will never abandon you. And Peter, I tell you the truth. This very night, you will deny me three times before the, 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 the cock crows. You guys are men. And you can't do anything. Nobody ever walked the earth. Not, not Buddha, not Mohammed, not even a Hindu, not a man on this earth has ever walked the earth and said, I'm it. I'm the one. I come to save the world. I come to be the sacrifice. I'm the Lamb of God to take away the sins of fallen man. I am Him. I am it. And only Jesus Christ is the only person on earth that's ever said that. Buddhas and them, they say they have an enlightenment. You can get rid of all the things of this world. But when they don't know God and they never claim to take away sins or any of our, our fallen nature. Only Jesus. Muhammad even says, yeah, we can know who God is and we don't need Jesus to know who God is. Because Jesus was just a man. But, but we can know God. But they have no, no, no atonement for their sins. For their sins. They don't have the power to baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. We have a spirit of power. The fire is the fire of our lives. The fire of the disciples, like how they denied him. We believe you. We hear it. We believe you. We see it. But we're right here on the fence. Standing on the fence. You know? But after, but after the resurrection, they all left him. Peter did deny him. Broken down to bitter weeping. Broken down. To, to, to no purpose on life. Broken down to, 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 to the very weakest of all humanity. <clears throat> but after the resurrection, and God comes back in, in three days, and the tomb is empty. And he shows himself to the women first. The least on earth. Women, not even counted. We don't even count you. You're so worthless. You see it in religions today. They're, they're women that have so small of a worth that they're not even allowed to be seen. Only eyes. This is our sisters being abused by God, by the devil. Because of their disobedience of how they won't recognize Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. God wants thanksgiving and love for one another. So they, after the resurrection, and then they go and they're out there. You know, they spoke to him a few times after the resurrection. He came, he showed himself, and then he kind of disappears again. And one time, even 500 people saw Jesus after the resurrection. There they are. There's the disciples out there fishing in a boat. 
out there fishing. Couldn't go back to work now. I heard it. I seen it. I saw it. I believe it. But we're going to go back to work. Fishing is what we do. All day they were out there and caught nothing. And there they saw Jesus standing at the shore and they all knew who he was. They threw their nets on the other side. Just on the other side of the boat. And then they were full. Full. Coming and breaking and pulling them up. Peter takes his clothes off and just jumps out into this thing. I got to get my God. I got to get Jesus. I want to be there one more time to touch you. Swims all the way to the shore. And they, they have fish. Jesus cooks them breakfast. He says, Peter, you know, do, do you really love me? Do you love me more than, than all these things, this stuff? Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I, I love you. I love you with all my heart. As I just got off the boat from fishing. You saw me swim to you, oh Lord. Yeah, yeah, Peter. But do you, do you really love me, Peter? Take care of my sheep, my children, and your brothers, and your sisters. Do you